We're talking about snakes. Yeah. Brazilian pit vipers. Well, you don't really think I would bring a, a real one into here because you sure don't want to meet up with one of those guys. If they bite you, you just go straight down. Why? Because your blood pressure just collapses. Well, in the 1930s, a compound called bradykinin was isolated from the venom of the Brazilian pit viper. And no, they don't live in pits. They, they have these little pits beside their nose. That's how they sense heat. Anyway, that was interesting because it caused such a sudden drop in, in blood pressure. The question was, could you use this as a medication? The answer was no, because bradykinin is a protein, and if you take it orally, it is immediately digested. So there was another idea. Why not try to see which part of that molecule was really important in lowering blood pressure and try to make a drug modeled on that? And in the 1970s, uh, John Bain in England, who later received the Nobel Prize for different business for his work on, on how aspirin functioned. But anyway, he was able to determine exactly what was going on. And uh, this uh, uh, enzyme that was present in the uh, venom of the snake uh, had an ability to decrease blood pressure by interfering with the so-called angiotensin, angiotensin II system in the body, which controls uh, blood pressure. So that was important. And then about 2,000 different compounds were tested to mimic parts of that molecule. And it turned out that one of them really worked. And this gave rise to one of the most important early blood pressure lowering drugs, and that was captopril. It falls into a category of drugs known as the ACE inhibitors, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. Uh, it was a breakthrough. Since then, there have been a number of other ACE inhibitors that have been developed, which have a better side effect profile than the original one. But there's an interesting uh, question that has recently arisen about these kind of, of drugs because uh, the uh, virus that causes COVID-19 enters cells uh, that have on their surface an enzyme called the ACE2. And it turns out that when you're using these ACE inhibitors, uh, the body also revs up its production of those ACE2 enzymes that then end up on the surface of cells. It's a complicated reason why that happens, but it happens. So the question was, what about people who are taking drugs the ACE inhibitor category, are they more likely to come down with uh, COVID-19? It was a reasonable expectation, especially because early studies showed that this was the case. Luckily, though, now we find out that no, there is no real correlation. The early studies were kind of confounded because uh, it turned out that people who take uh, ACE inhibitors are people who have uh, various kind of comorbidities, other diseases. So they were more at prone for uh, COVID-19 anyway. So anyone taking ACE inhibitors, you don't have to worry that it is predisposing you to uh, COVID-19. Uh, and uh, there are people who just gave up the drug because they heard these stories, which is, of course, unfortunate because uh, blood pressure needs to be controlled if it is high. But uh, it's interesting that snakes, which most people revile, have this benefit. And it's also interesting to point out that the original symbol of medicine was the rod of Asclepius. Asclepius was the Greek god of medicine. Why the snake? Because temples where healing was supposed to be carried out in those days had snakes. Snakes were thought to have amazing healing abilities. Why? Because they were immune to their own venom and also because they shed their skin. And that was supposed to be a sign of rejuvenation. That's the real symbol of medicine. A lot of people think that it is this. No, this is the caudicius and this is the rod of Hermes, the messenger god. Romans knew him as, as Mercury. And no, he didn't have anything to do with medicine. This was just a mistake made by the U.S. military at one time when they took on that symbol instead of the uh, rod of Asclepius. So now you know a little bit about snakes and the contri contribution that they have made to science. And remember that the real uh, symbol for medicine should be the rod of Asclepius. And uh, yeah, that's the way that it, it goes, and not the Caduceus. And uh, you do not want to meet up with a Brazilian pit viper 
uh, because, boy, you get stung by one of those and... Uh,